Hello everybody, it's Khalif PvP bringing you another Black Desert game video. This time we're going to give you tips and tricks in 4 minutes or less. So let's get started. Alright, the first tip is if you're grinding in an area, for example, have a lot of quests in this particular section, what you want to do is try to invest in the nodes around that area. And there's a couple reasons for that. First is when you invest in a node, you get uh, any, dr any tokens. A lot of quests give you little um, coins. Uh, when you try to trade them into a commerce NPC, you get much more money out of it than if you didn't have it. You get actually 30% if you don't have it connected. But uh, if it is connected, then you get the full, I think, anywhere from 100 to 120%. The next thing is, when you have a node, uh, I guess, you know, bought, you can invest energy in that node. When investing energy, what that does is it increases monster's drop rate. Um, the flip side of this thing is after you're done uh, questing, grinding, you can actually withdraw. So in order to withdraw, all you have to do is click on this, go to check node, and then hit the withdraw button. Unfortunately, when you do withdraw, you do lose your node experiences, from what I understood. So do that as last resort. Next tip, as you can see, I have 32 out of 90. Uh, what this is used for is any gatherings. So if I was to go up here and gather any of the trees, as well as investing in node. So I'll do a quick investing in the node real quick. So I increased the thing and it went down to 23. Uh, the flip side of this, again, tip is you should create alts. And the reason is your alts actually gain energy independent of each other. So if you want, for example, want to invest in other nodes but don't have energy, what you should do is you want to quickly switch to one of your other characters, what I'm going to do right now. You can see that this particular character has 90 out of 90. If I was to switch to other characters as well, you'll see that all, all of them have 90 out of 90. So what we want to do is, right off the bat when the game starts, uh, you want to create as mu many alts as you can because they will, again, get their energy independently of so each other. Building off our previous tip, um, you get these trade tokens. Now, a lot of people might want to hand it into the closest trade broker. Uh, I got these ones in Calpheon. So if I was to hand this in Calpheon, I get a certain amount. But don't actually do that. It's actually better to take it to the furthest point possible. So if you have nodes connected, for example, I have Calpheon to Velia connected. If I take it all the way out to Velia, I actually get a bigger amount. So let's see how much we get if we take it out there. Are in Velia with the same amount of stuff and we see we get a little bit of a bonus again it's not much but if you are traveling from one town to another it's better off to hold off so you get that extra boost. Now that we're in Velia we need to make it out to this particular town so I can make some trade runs. Uh, one of the things is a lot of people want to use the horses. The horses are great but you should actually run. And the reason is your training one of the important stats is stamina and you kind of increase this by swimming and running and what stamina is is that little gray bar that you see popping up on screen that allows you to usually do your dodge moves swim etc the higher stamina level is the higher um, higher your stamina is and the more you know more dodges that you can use that pretty much sums up all my tips if you guys liked it please subscribe I'll be actually doing another tips and tricks one uh, soon as soon as I can find some worthwhile tips so again if you have missed anything if you guys want me to talk about something please let me know in the comments and I'll see you next time